What is going on everyone? Jim here, RCAD, round three with the old Hornet here, round three testing. What happened to round two, you say? Well, it was short-lived. Let me tell you about round two, everybody. I'll show you guys a quick video clip on that. I removed the Novak Reactor ESC that was in the vehicle, removed the 1800 milliamp nickel metal battery pack that was in the vehicle, removed the stock tires and wheels off of it, and then installed a set of vintage Tamiya lunchbox tires and wheels all the way around. And I also installed a set of Tamiya lunchbox uprights, which are right here. Our wheel spindles, the longer wheel spindles, so we can accommodate fatter tires. Those are right around $8 US. Ordered them from A-Main Hobbies, not being sponsored. That's just where I got them. If you're interested in those, you have to type in Tamiya uprights, and those will pop up. Uh, so we put those on there on round two, everyone. Um, installed an Axial AE5 ESC. Hooked this baby up to a 2200 milliamp 3S Gen Zace battery. And within a few minutes, I ended up burning out that WL Toys 10428-540. Sign of being on 3S Lipo. All right, let's try that again. Took out a landscape light. Whoops. I'm kind of going slow here, everybody, so I'm trying to keep it under control as I'm climbing up the hill and stay on the hill without veering off. Driving one handed, of course. Doing a good job of spreading that sand. I believe that motor has uh, had the biscuit there. Right there, you can see that she is uh, blackened. Melting the solder on the end of the board there. That WL Toys motor. There was a little capacitor on there as well. It looks like we just blew that thing off somewhere. There was a little capacitor going right in between here. Right in there. And that is gone. So I believe we blew that right off of there somewhere. Uh, so round three testing, everybody. We're back again. Uh, ripped the spoiler off in the beginning of round three. <laughs> so the body has taken a beating. Had to add a wheelie bar to the back of the car for round three as well. And right now, everybody, I haven't ran it yet on 2S. <laughs> so right now we have a 2S LiPo sitting in the vehicle. So this is what we have in it right now, everyone. This is a WL Toys 2S LiPo. Comes with a 10 428. 7.4 volt, 2200 milliamp, 25C. We've got one of these sitting inside the vehicle right now. Uh, so that's going to be our 2S test. Our 3S battery is right here, Gen's Ace, 2200 milliamp, 3S LiPo, 45C. So there is our 3S LiPo. So that'll be the next round afterwards. So round three, round three, here we go. We installed a set of vintage Tamiya Monster Beetle wheels with some old original 1980s vintage Proline Sandpaw 2.2 tires. And also a set of Proline razors on the front or razorbacks on the front and sitting on another set of bon Monster Beetle wheels. Once again, spoiler got ripped off. Ooh, what a bummer. Ripped that baby right off. Not looking so hot back here, everyone. Added eight ounces of uh, steel wheel weights onto the front. Eight ounces in total. Each one of these is a quarter of an ounce. Four of those equal an ounce. So eight ounces total of weight onto the front of the vehicle. Installed a Traxxas VXL 3S Valinian system. Now this system right here, everybody, is out of my WL Toys 10428A hydroplane truck. And that is what this motor came out of. ESC is brand new, courtesy of Traxxas. I fried my ESC, everybody, from my WL Toys hydroplane vehicle and had to uh, send my ESC to Traxxas to get replaced. And here is the replacement ESC. I did have to pay for that. 
but it was a lot cheaper than buying a new one, regardless. So new ESC sitting under the hood, everybody. Old VXL 3S 3500 Valenian motor in there, brushless motor. I'm gonna run this baby on 2S LiPo and see what she does. And all turned on. Our spoilerless Hornet, which uh, kind of almost looks like an Optima right there. <laughs> looks a little bit like a Kyosho Turbo Optima in black. One other thing I did, everybody, on this vehicle is I locked down the rear axle so it can't jump up and down. I have it in the upright position and then ran a couple screws into it and uh, held it in place. Somebody just came through here and just graded the road, everybody, so there's some pretty chunky rocks laying about here and there. Chunky rock right there, just nailed. So here's a spot on the back that I'm talking about right here, everybody. See that little screw right there that were aimed right on front and center right by my finger? I drilled a hole right through there, everybody, and I pinned this axle in the upright position. That way it can't jump up in the air, causing the car to be uh, wheelie prone. So I'm trying to limit the wheelies there. I know J.D. Pazel had also done a test like this with a grasshopper. I haven't seen that video. I just uh, seen it pop up one day. Never got a chance to watch it. Sorry, J.D. This thing is all over the map as far as searing goes. Pretty good run right there. Pretty quick. If you can hold it steady. Good little run right there in that stretch. I almost got it wide open. It's not too bad. Doing pretty good with these uh, sand paws on it. I had the lunchbox tires, man. It was a spin machine. This is on 2S. You put it on 3S, everybody, and it's a totally different animal. Forgive me for being out of breath. Everybody just hiked up here from the uh, from the road. Yeah, quick work of the sand hill. I did break something. Right there. Do, 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 do. All right, we'll come back for round four. Round four with the Hornet. We are now on 3S, as soon as we turn it on. Now we're on 3S. I did fix that little steering link issue down there. Don't know how long it's gonna hold up for, but uh, let's see what happens here. All right guys, we're gonna go down to the track here. This thing's gonna come apart. I don't think it's gonna last too long on 3S. Those of you who don't know, that is actually the track entrance right there. And it goes right across this road here and down around back over to our pole barn. So that is the actual entranceway going in. You make a little 
left and a right, a little jiggy jog. Right through here, right through here. Bam, you're at the track. Right through here, right through here. Bam, you're at the track. Which is wrapping all the way around back to here. Up to the top of the hill, way out there to the sand hill in the background. The new Rocky bypass going around it for the SCX 24s. Out to the old stump way out yonder there. See how far out that is? Way out there. My cabin way on the other side. We extend all the way out to the new over under rock bridge. It's still under construction, everybody. Weather has not been too friendly around here. The old tractor down in the clearing. That's as far as the track goes that way. So yeah, eating up a whole a lot of real estate out here. And then our new trail network is gonna branch off into the woods. So we're gonna go even further back, way back into those hills. So yes, indeed, big plans. Pile of rocks. What I've been picking through these were all separated in different piles, but I've been working through them as I build our new section over here. The rock I dragged out of the ground with the old Alice Chalmers. See where the moss is? That's all that was sticking out of the ground. The rest of it was completely buried. All right, we're rolling into the sand hill here. Yeah, the sand is definitely moist, everybody. We are getting some uh, really good traction out here. You can see the moisture in the sand there. That packs up. But definitely moist. Not as uh, dry as it normally is. After Effects. Just... Yeah, I tell you right there, that's the culprit. Definitely interesting. on that one. Tire, that's an issue.
there goes the battery tray cover. Common Hornet problem. But luckily, I packed a bunch of foam in around the battery. So we're running a Gen's Ace 3S LiPo 2200 milliamp 45C. <laughs> All right, everybody. So I just put the battery tray back on. Just finished putting the tire back on the wheel. Uh, needs to be glued on in place. And then I looked over here and was like, uh oh. Dum -dum -dum -dum. We have a broken rear axle. Broken transmission half right here. Right there, everybody. Yep, there she be. One hard landing. That's crazy, everybody. This is actually, well, you know, it's well, it's over 20 years old. Original vintage to me, a Hornet. Uh, but this is actually the first time I ever broke a transmission or a rear axle on a Hornet or a Grasshopper or a Lunchbox or a Rockbuster. <laughs> Anything with this style rear axle on it. First time I snapped one right there. So that's the first for me. Yep. She is definitely bent. <laughs> well, there you go, everyone. That is the end of round four with our Tamiya Hornet, our old vintage Tamiya Hornet, running on 3S with that Traxxas VXL 3S Valenian 3500 KV brushless system. Having problems with the tires, not staying on the wheels. They've been screwed to the wheels since the late 80s. Uh, they're going to gonna, gonna have to get glued on. So I think we're just going to put a brand new set of tires on here. That way we've got something good to work with. And uh, we'll get to work on our gearbox, get a new gearbox in it, baby, and uh, go from there. So that's the end of round four, everybody. Very much appreciated for you all sticking around and watching the video, and we will see you all on the next one. Thanks again.